about 502. Let's stay on the breaking news at this hour. If you're just joining us, two Pennsylvania state troopers and a third person are dead this morning in a crash on 95. Steve Keeley on the scene. Well, I just witnessed a sad, solemn scene. Uh, what we know always when we see this is a procession of police escorting a body usually to a medical examiner's office. And so uh, we're going to spin around and show you uh, Patterson Avenue. Bob Kelly, be on alert for that because two state troopers killed in the line of duty on 95 before 1 a.m. And so uh, a long procession just went there on Patterson Avenue. And now we see uh, a whole lot more uh, police on 95 getting ready to probably escort a second trooper killed in the line of duty to the medical examiner's office because we saw uh, bodies covered sadly through our law enforcement sources that confirmed that two troopers and a third person, a civilian, killed uh, by a passing vehicle before 1 a.m. And we saw a look at that trooper vehicle courtesy of a picture uh, we obtained and both doors on the driver's side of that trooper SUV sheared off and thrown several feet uh, from where it was hit. And so the victims obviously, obviously also thrown and uh, another vehicle nearby, an SUV, obliterated front end, airbags deployed in both of the vehicles. Then we noticed a third vehicle also involved in this. So just a horrific scene here, horrific for the law enforcement family here where the flashing lights and the construction scene lights illuminating uh, this highway for the investigation. How this happened, why this happened, is still uh, being investigated and not being put out to the public just yet. But you can see this scene that so many people are familiar with. This is the stretch you take when you're going to the airport. And anybody who's ever driven on this stretch, whether they're going to the airport before the Girard Point Bridge or just driving on their commute, uh, knows how fast people go here. And especially in the middle of the night when no one's on the road and the road is clear and open. And we've seen countless times where despite all the flashing lights, despite road flares, despite all that, uh, we know uh, that just pulling somebody over can be deadly for police in this country. Uh, that's why they have that move over law. And when you're under the influence or where you're not paying attention or looking down at your phone or whatever reason it is, uh, that move over law doesn't do any good when people are just ramming into people on the side of the road, just trying to do their job to keep the road safe for the rest of us. So that is the scene here in South Philadelphia and a solemn scene again. And we'll get you a shot of that as soon as possible. But Thomas, just awful news here to begin our week. Yeah, it really is. I mean, just on that stretch, as you noted there, there's just nowhere to go on that bridge. Difficult morning for law enforcement, difficult morning now for three families. It is 504, Steve. Let's get to Kelly Roll, who's live at the Pennsylvania State Police Troop K Barracks. Kelly. Yeah, good morning, Thomas. We are live at the Belmont Barracks this morning. Still very quiet here, and I have to imagine that's because anybody that is in right now is probably over where Steve is currently. Uh, horrific situation, and again, we know from law enforcement sources this morning that two Pennsylvania State Police Troopers were among three people killed in a crash along I-95 early this morning. We'll take you back out to that scene live again. Uh, big heavy police presence looks like they're gearing up for a procession like Steve said which will certainly be a, a solemn scene and something hard to watch uh, we know that the police presence out there has been big and busy all morning since this crash happened which was before 1 a.m. and again it was in the southbound lanes near the Broad Street exit investigators again did confirm to Fox 29 that we know two Pennsylvania State Police troopers and a third person were killed in this crash we do not know if that third person was a driver or a passenger of another vehicle uh, still all under investigation at this point police have not identified any of the victims they haven't released any of the uh, details or circumstances around the crash or what led to it. Uh, we are hoping, you know, in the next couple of hours that they'll be able to give some kind of statement here. We're standing by in the event that that does ha happen. But Thomas, again, uh, we'll keep our eyes on the scene now because we know uh, they could be leaving at any moment. And that will certainly be yeah. something difficult to watch today. A lot to get through and certainly a lot of emotions. Kelly, we'll wait for word. It is 506.